All right, you all welcome to Frank Teaches Devils. So in today's series, I I shall be describing to us um, how to host a simple web application on um, on Apache Web Server. Okay, Apache Web Server simple web application on apache web server all right so let's go there i have my machine which i am connected to on um, aws this is um, um lsb underscore release this is just um a simple Ubuntu. There is simple Ubuntu. Simple, simple Ubuntu. All right. Bionic Beaver. All right. The version is Ubuntu 18.04. Okay. So on this Ubuntu, I will be installing uh, one. Installing Apache. Apache web server. All right. So Apache, there are different web servers we have of links, but we have two major big players in, um, in the domain of web server. One is Apache and the other is Nginx. Okay. Um, one is Apache and the other is Nginx. But in today's series, I shall be focusing all my energy on Apache. All right. Okay. So it's just simple. Um, we just need to install Apache, then to configure Apache. All right, configure Apache to accept your web apps. Okay, your web apps. So in this series, I'm going to configure um, Apache in um, in IP base and um, IP base hosting and name base hosting, which is virtual name base, name base, yeah. So I will be configuring Apache in, in two dimensions, all right? One being IP base hosting uh, oh sorry and the other is name based hosting okay so let's get started so the first thing i need to do is installing what apache web server so i'll do apt install apache so um, on ubuntu apache web server is called apache 2 all right on uh red hat sorry red hat um linux flavor uh red hat linux flavors apache is known as httpd okay that's the package name on red hat flavors but on debian on debian flavors we have apache as apache what two okay all right so I'll say apt install Apache 2. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Bam. Install. So if I do uh, system CTL, all right, system CTL status Apache 2. Apache is already up and running. So the service name as well is Apache what? So now, if I hit my uh, web application, this is this server is going to copy my public IP. Then I go on to I go on to my uh, web browser and hit enter. Yes, this page tells me that Apache is running on my EC2 instance. 
this page. So if I if I shut it down now, let's say system CTL stop stop Apache what two. Now if I refresh this page, everything shuts down. Everything shuts down. That's what I see. You can see it's down. So I need to restart it one more time. Restart it one more time. Restart it one more time. It's restarted. And if I refresh, it's back up. Okay. All right. So that was that. Now let's just host a simple web application. So I will go to uh, my document root directory on var www and html so this page is uh sorry this directory is being populated because i just installed apache http web server if i had not installed this package i wouldn't have gotten this directory take note if i had not installed apache web server i wouldn't have gotten this directory I am getting this directory because I have installed Apache Web Server. All right. So let's see the content of um, index.html. Let's see what is there. Okay. All that is here, <clears throat> that's what that is under index.html. So what I will do, I'm going to replace the content. I will say echo. What is that? Echo all of this HTML. Um, okay. Uh, let's say um, edge. Okay. Title. Okay. My web page. Close your title. Title is closed. Uh, should we close our head? Yes. Close your head. Close your head and open your body. Uh, body, body, let's, yes, great. Now, the backward slash I just did there is for um, line continuation, okay? Line continuation. I don't want to continue from that same line. So I want to continue, all right, from the next line, okay? So I'll just put it backward slash. All right, so that's the body. I can um, give it, uh, let's start with the header h1 welcome home All right h1 that's great then give it also no 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 events not found no 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 okay uh finally let's do this let's do this uh p Hello, this is my website. I hope you enjoy enjoyed it. Okay, close that. That's that. Then press your enter and press enter. Okay. Uh, Control D should. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I'm supposed to end it up with. A double quotes, a double quotes, a double quotes. Um, let me copy this. Let's copy that. Let's copy that. Also, end it with the double quotes. Um, okay. Um, enter. That's that's all right. Um, what else again? This okay, then end it with double quotes. And then why is it? Okay, let's let's see if um our content has not been over written. Okay, let me just let me just keep it simple. I'll keep it simple. Hello, this is my website. Okay. 
into oh 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 i think it's redirection sorry guys sorry 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 into index.html okay so that is that okay so if i come here if i should refresh my website can you see this is my what web site let me still modify it um this is my website however it is version what one okay okay let me do something Let's do something. Okay, however, it is version one. Great. So if I come here, refresh. Okay. So um um all right, all right, that's that's okay. Okay, now this is just simple without um setting up the the virtual host which is the server block virtual host configuration virtual host block okay but uh, let's go into uh, the the configuration file for apache and see how we can set up the virtual host so the configuration file for apache is on um slash etc slash apache slash wait let me see this Oh, slash. Mm, okay, one sec. Um, one second. Apache. One second. Conf enable. Conf enable cancelled error other virtual host access log security.conf character sets. Let me see something, please. One sec. Okay. Um, I will go into the configuration file for Apache. So on, on Ubuntu, what's one thing you should know? On Ubuntu, the, the, the configuration is kind of um is different a bit. All right. But on um on Debian, sorry, on Debian um flavor, like Ubuntu, the configuration for Apache is kind of different. But on um um it's kind of different from the uh Apache configuration on on um Red Hat uh flavors red hat linux flavors so i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do this i'm doing for ubuntu then i'll also later do for for red hat flavors so that we can see the difference okay so now we have um our directory we have sites en enabled sites available uh mode enabled mode enabled and um all of that so I'm going to go into this uh, site enable folder, change directory, say what site what enable. Now let's see what we have on that site enable. And let's also see what we have on that site available. Let's see. Okay, site available is um you still have the same contents, all right? You still have the same the same content, the same content you have on that site enable. Is the same thing you have on the site available, but we, let's we'll be using a site enable for all of our configuration. So what I will do, I'll just copy, copy. You see now, site available is is um is 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 a symbolic link to default.com. So all I'll do, I'll just copy um this file into let me say uh web uh. Okay, web apache dot com. You can give me any name, any name. Web apache what dot com. So if I do ll under my site uh, enable, I have 
my configuration file as webapache.com. So all I need to do is to go into the file and then, um, yeah, directly just my virtual host. So in here, I'm going to delete all of this because um, I have the content there already. So I just need to work with my server admin, what I have. Okay, great. So I'll come here. Okay, then also come here. And um, Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's all. This is my first virtual host block. Okay. So my documents root directory is the location where my index.html file is. Then my error log is where all my error logs will be stored. We stored on the Apache log directory slash error.log. So let's look for Apache underscore log underscore directory. Let's look for the location. So if I say echo, echo this Apache underscore log underscore dir. Let's see where it is. Or I will say um that's empty. That's empty. Um let me say change directory. Change directory to Apache Apache underscore log underscore dir. Let's see what do we have. PWD. It's root. It's giving me a root. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the file. Let's go back there. Okay. Apache underscore log underscore directory. Uh, you can always change it. You can always change it. Let's let's change it. Apache log directory. So my Apache log directory should be on that slash var var log. Okay. Let me see what I have here. Do I have great? I have Apache, Apache 2, LL. And you see, I don't know why it's not taking me here. So here is the access log and here is what? Error log. But this can, all, can always be changed, all right? But leave it as it, leave it as it is. So let's go back to our configuration file, which is under slash etc slash Apache slash sites enabled and um web okay that's fine that's fine so all we need to do is uh you can always change the server admin mind you and um you can uh server admin then you can set the url as well let's escape save and quit okay so if i do system cto restart we start Apache, Apache 2, it's gone, all right? If I come back here, refresh, it remains the same thing, all right? So now let's see how we can, let's see how we can create another virtual host from what we have already. So all I'll do, I'll go into my www. I have HTML, right? I'll create another folder. I'll say mkdir. Let me call that Bob, Bob apps, all right? Bob apps. I will change directory into Bob apps. So on the Bob apps, I am going to create an index.html file. This app is just new and is owned by Bob Africa, okay? Escape, save and what? Quit. Now, this site will not be displayed until I go into the web configuration file for Apache to set the virtual host block. So uh, Apache, uh, this will be site enabled and, um, sorry, site enabled and this gives me web. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna copy this server block. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay? Eight, yank, yank. Eight lines you are copy. Then I will paste it there. Um, okay? So now this will be uh, my next um, website. However, However, this website is going to run on port 90, and uh, the document root directory is going to be Bob apps. All right. It will be Bob apps. Then everything is fine. Everything is fine. Escape, save, and quit. All right. So uh, I'll do my Apache, Apache 2. Uh, minus T to check my configuration. They said my configuration is wrong. It's not defined. I think that's error online. 80 off. Okay, must be a valid directory. Okay, I said it. Uh, Apache underscore wrong. Was it wrong? Let's go back there. Apache underscore run. So uh, wait one minute. It's not defined yet. So let's go into this file. etc Apache. Apache 2. Apache 2.com. Line 80. They said line 80. Let's do for 80. Uh, they said run. Default runtime directory. Um. Let's see the directory where other runtime files will be stored. Runtime file will be stored. Uh, directory. Let's see. Um, the log directory is here. Error log is here. Error log is defined. Um, user, what you run user? This directory, what you run user? Run directory, run directory, default run. Let me, let me, wait, let me come, I'll come back here. Let me do something. System, CTO. Restarts Apache 2. Okay. Okay. So let me, this is one of, this is the first uh, virtual host. Let me run the second virtual host on port 90, which is being run. Let's see. Okay. It's not coming up. Uh, let's see if port 90 is open on uh, NSG security group. Port 90, port 90 is open already. So that means we have to change, um, we have to add the ports. So come back. So go to back to our configuration file. Then we are going to set something that this guy, uh, Apache directive, this guy should listen. Listen on port 90. Listen on port 90. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So, um, system CCL restarts Apache 2. Okay. There's an error. There's an error. So, let's work that out. One sec. Okay, it's not loading because we are having error. It's not really listening on that port. So what I will do is, uh, there's a file under slash etc slash Apache two. It's called port.conf. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have access into this file, and then um, yeah. So this is where that is defined. Listen on eighty. So I'll have to also 
allow Apache to listen on port 19 as well. Okay, so let's save that and quit. Now, if I go back to um, uh, Vim sites enable, then my web apps, then I remove this part, delete it, delete that part. Delete that part, that's okay. Save and quit. Let's see uh, how we can restart Apache. If everything goes fine. Apache 2. All right, it's working now. It's working. So that was actually taken. So if I say cat port, port, so this is how you define the port to listen on, right? So if I come back here and refresh, this should display my second website. This app is just new and is owned by Bob Africa. So this is how you can um, set different um, um, virtual hosts, set different virtual hosts for your web server. So if I go into web host, you can see what would be the, uh, this was the first one, sorry, this was the first one, listening on post 80, and here is the second one, listening on port worth 90 90. however however we could make this um this ip base all right for name base now for name base we must we must have we must have um a a verified domain all right to access it via the url all right but let's let's try it and see. Let's try it and see. But it won't work though. Um, it can only lo work locally. So let's go for the first one. Let's go for the first one. Let's do something. Let's say um server. Server name. Server name is um. This is firstweb.com. All right, firstweb.com. And um, for this, we have our server name as um, server, capital S, sorry. Server name is bobapps.com. Okay. Now escape, save and quit, and restart system. Restart Apache 2, that's fine. Now, if I try to do that, the second one is what? Um, cat, cat web apps, bobapps.com. If I try to access this globally, Bob apps.com on port 90 it won't work it will never work because this name should be a verified domain but if i access it locally it should go but before i access it locally i may have to create a local dns on slash etc host so i'll go to my etc host file all right and then um, set up a dns for this um domain so I'll say, I'll pick my IP address. Yes, my IP. Yes, my IP. Copy it. And I'll paste it there. Remove the ports from here. Okay, then this will be Bob Apps, right? BobApps.com and um, Bob apps, all right. So if I ping, uh, ping Bob, Bob, okay, uh, in image, Bob apps, sorry, Bob apps, okay. It's like ping is not enabled on um, this um, EC2 instance. Let's terminate. Let's go to 
Let's check our security group, ICMP. Well, the ping is not enabled. Ping is not enabled. So this is what we need to do. We need to add an inbound rule, Frank SG, and then edit inbound rule, and go and enable custom TCP, add the rule, custom TCP, um, sorry, the rule is the ICMP. So your ping uses ICMP, not all, should be all, custom ICMP. Okay, anywhere, and that's it, save your rules. It's been saved, so if I come back and then um, try to initiate that, I'm now pinging that, um, that, um, that domain. So, so far, this will not even still work because the domain is not a verified domain. Bob apps, sorry, apps.com, column 19. This won't work, all right? So the only way this could work is by accessing it locally via I, I will say HTTP, column Bob apps.com on port 19, all right? So if this returns HTTP 200, okay, then it means that we can actually reach the website on this domain name. So this is how you can implement um, a name base, name, 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 name base web, um, web hosting, all right? So this is what we did, um, web apps, this is what we did. Uh, you see server name, the server name is this, for this second website, mind you, but for the web, for first website, I leave it, we left it at what? At IP base. So thank you so much, guys. Um, thank you. So this is how you configure Apache web server on Ubuntu. What we'll do next time for benefit of, benefit of doubt, we shall see how we can configure uh, Apache web server on Red Hat um, Linux flavors. Thank you and have a nice day.